To all our graduates, family and friends, good morning and welcome to the conferring ceremony of the Faculty of Enterprise and Humanities, live from the National Film School and Television Studios here at IADT campus. My name is Dr. Andrew Power, Registrar of IADT. Graduates, today is all about you and your families. It's a day of celebration. Due to the global pandemic, we are all dealing with at present. We sadly could not hold our usual in-person event in the RDS. All of our graduates will be conferred in absentia today at this incorporeal ceremony. We understand that this is disappointing both to you, your family and friends, but also to us as conferring day is a happy occasion, the day that marks the end of your journey with IADT and the start of another journey, whether in the world of work or education. However, we want you to be able to enjoy this day, even if it is held remotely, and to have fond memories of the culmination of all your hard work. On a personal note, I speak on behalf of all your lecturers and all IADT staff that we take great joy in this special day for you. As with all major milestones along your educational journey, this is a significant one. Congratulations to you and all involved with you. Now to the ceremony itself, one of the many official meetings in the Institute's calendar, and obviously one of the most important. Graduations are steeped in history. In fact, today's ceremony is governed by an act of the Oroctus. It, it is formal for good reason, and as with many formal occasions, it follows a particular script. So the players in this script will be called, one by one, to announce the names of our graduates as well as our prize winners. Graduates, family and friends, guests, members of the governing body, sponsors, fellow staff. This is a formal meeting of the Institute at which awards will be conferred on our graduates. I now ask Mr. David Smith, our president, to formally convene the meeting. David. Thank you, Andrew. I hereby confer awards on the learners who have achieved the standard determined by the Institute. For those awards, and I ask those learners to be presented to me so that I may, that I may formally present them in absentia with their parchment. We will now begin with the Department of Entrepreneurship. But first, let's hear from some of the staff. I've had the pleasure and privilege of watching you grow and develop through your educational journey. It has been a pleasure to have had you with us. I'd like to wish the class of 2020 all the best in the future. I'm sure if you showed the same enthusiasm for learning as you did in IADT, it'll all work out. I'd like to commend you as one of the most resilient classes uh, I've ever worked with over the last 30 years. The class of 2020 and the graduates of 2020 are always going to remember what an unbelievable year it has been for you but we want to wish you every success in your future. I joined the college three or four years ago, so you're my first kind of graduation batch that have come through with me. Um, you will be missed. It's been a pleasure teaching you, and I look forward to seeing you sometime in the future. Well done. I call upon Dr. Therese Moylan, head of the Department of Entrepreneurship, to introduce the candidates from this department. Therese. Thank you, Andrew. Good morning, everybody. Um, we will begin with the Bachelor of Business in Applied Entrepreneurship. Stephanie Abano, Esther Akabindiodum, Thomas Ash, Ashley Brennan, Jane Conway Kenny, Ronan Earls, Stuart Fitzpatrick, Nicole Grundy, Stephen Harrison, Alan Keane, Joseph Kelly, Sean Castell, Melina Kuzmanovic, Matthew Matthews, Matthew Malone, Andy Malloy, Dean Monks, Katie Murphy, Ruben Noyes, Grace O'Donovan, Damien Rad Radomowski, Matthew Ryan, and Ryan Tuffy. Well done and congratulations. Now we move to the Bachelor of Business Honours in Entrepreneurship. Colette Fahey, Luke Fox, Aoife Hall, David Harris, 
Jake Eiston, Tyrone Kennedy, Cloda McAvady, Andrew Palmer, Marco Petrassi, Yolanda Prenderville Ryan. Well done, and a good round of applause to you all. We'll now have the Higher Certificate in Entrepreneurship and Management, and congratulations, uh, Sean O'Regan. The Bachelor of Business in Entrepreneurship and Management, Anna Hobbs. The Bachelor of Business Honours in Entrepreneurship and Management, Evan Carthy, Ivan Curtis, Killian Doyle, Sean Flood, Owen Flood Wiley, Rebecca Fox, Louis Gilmartin, Richard Goff, Connor Hamilton Long, Barry Horan, Max Ivory, Rebecca Johnson, Eva Kane, Owen Keenan, Gusti Kudrovigucci, Arena Lynch, Jack Matthews, Jack Maverley, Ruth Murray, Joycelyn McCluskey, Kathleen McMacken, Ailish Quinlevin, Christopher Simmons, Jimmy Turner. Well done and congratulations to you all. The Bachelor of Business Honours in Entrepreneurship and Management Flexible Mode, Jesse Waters. The Bachelor of Business Honours in Digital Marketing and Sales, Michelle O'Connor. The Postgraduate Diploma in Cultural Event Management, Aoife Daly. And the Masters of Business in Cultural Event Management, Amina Dastan, Siobhan Gihan, and Alva O'Connor. We'll now move to the Postgraduate Diploma in Business in Digital Entrepreneurship. Aram Ann, Adina Lacramoria, Anel Bastista, Annalisa Casu, Maria Yulia Chicotti, Angela Costales, Jennifer Cummins, Magda Hoffman Daly, Esther Kane, Jeffrey Kane, Jacqueline Kennedy, Sinead Lawler, Denise McElhenney, Ferdia O'Brolacon, Cassia O'Leary, Imelda Quinlan, Patrick Skrowanski, Ushian Fink, and Laura Whitney. And finally, we'll have the Masters of Business in Digital Entrepreneurship, Naomi Kelleher and Jordan Stanov. Congratulations and well done to each and every one of you. Please do stay in touch and the very best of luck to you all in the future. Thank you, Therese. And now, some more memories from the graduating class of 2020. Next, the Department of Humanities and Arts Management. But first, let's hear, some from, hear from some of the staff. Well done on achieving a wonderful result in your degree. And if you apply yourselves as well as you have over the last four years to achieving your dreams, you can go anywhere you want. 
Even though COVID-19 has hijacked our graduation, we're still celebrating with you in spirit. Best luck to graduates of 2020. I know you've had a tough year of it. Uh, enjoy your graduation, even in the virtual world, and make sure to thank your parents and keep in touch with us. I now ask Dr. Kevin Wallace, Head of the Department of Humanities and Arts Management, to introduce the candidates from his department. Kevin. Thanks, Andrew. So we begin with a Bachelor of Arts in Arts Management. Danielle Ronan, and congratulations to Danielle. And we move to the Bachelor of Arts Honours in Arts Management. Now. Stephen Adkins, Mateusz Belinsky, Hannah Burke, Eve Carr, Amy Carter, Elizabeth Curran, Hannah Dempsey, David Doyle, Ivan Gormley, Bergen Gray, Ellie Hickey, Ian Lawler, James Newsom, Neve O'Keefe, Stephen Pilo, Kate Pollard, Dylan Toll, and Amandine Verbies. Well done and congratulations to you all. And now to the Bachelor of Arts Honours in English Media and Cultural Studies. Ashling Byrne, Lorcan Comerford, Liam Daly, Richard Dawson, Alison Egan, Kristen Fahey, Alexander Farrell, Chloe Hennessy, Aoife Youngman, Louisa Kyo, Emer Kinsella, Lorna Kinsella, Harry Larkin, Nonin Manuel O'Donnell, Neve Mason, Pat McCarthy, Kieran McIntyre, Leisha Mooney, Laura Murphy, Luke Murphy, Leah Murray, Patrick Narrimore, Michelle O'Brown, Louise Peake, Alice Piper, Casey Quinn, Ava Tarter, and Pierce Walsh. And congratulations to you all. Well done, and please do keep in touch. Thank you. Thanks, Kevin. And now, some more memories from the graduating class of 2020. Well done, and, and congratulations to you all. And now to a very special part of the ceremony, prize giving for outstanding academic achievement. Please welcome our Head of Faculty of Enterprise and Humanities, Dr. Josephine Brown, to present the student prizes. Good morning, President, members of the governing body, guests, graduates, and colleagues. Congratulations to our graduates, their families and friends on the memorable occasion of your 2020 IADT graduation. Our last academic year was extremely challenging with the arrival in February of COVID-19 requiring everyone to adjust to remote delivery. I congratulate today's graduates on your resilience, flexibility and ability to manage change. All of these skills are greatly sought after in today's labour market. Almost overnight, you transferred, you adjusted from online, on-campus teaching to remote and online teaching with, while completing your studies to a very high standard. I would like to acknowledge and thank our academic and administrative staff 
for their hard work and adaptability to the new remote teaching environment. And I would like also to thank our faculty executive, Dr. Therese Moylan, Dr. Kevin Wallace, and Ms. Sylvia Rind, our administration manager, for their hard work and solutions-oriented approach to the challenges arising from COVID-19. Finally, I would like to thank our corporate sponsors today. Allied Irish Bank, Dunleary Rathdown County Council, the Leo Office, SEMA, the Chartered Institute of Management Accountants, and the Burke family, for their continued support of our students and graduates, and for the awards they have sponsored at today's conferring ceremony. Finally, it is time to announce the our awards recipients for 2020. First of all, the awards from Dunleary Rathdown County Council, the local enterprise office. The winner of the entrepreneurial award for the Bachelor of Business Honours in Entrepreneurship is Eva Kane. The winner of the entrepreneurship award for the postgraduate diploma in business in digital entrepreneurship is Denise McElhenney. The winner of the entrepreneurship award for the Bachelor of Business in Applied Entrepreneurship is Andy Malloy. The winner of the Strategic Arts Management Award for the Bachelor of Arts Honours in Arts Management is Amy Carter. These awards are sponsored by the Chartered Institute of Management Accountants. The winner of the Finance Three Award for the Bachelor of Business in Applied Entrepreneurship is Stephanie Albano. The winner of the Financial Management Award for the Bachelor of Arts Honours in Arts Management is Kate Pollard. The winner of the Taxation and Finance Award for the Bachelor of Business Honours in Entrepreneurship and Management is Yolanda, Yolanda Prendeville Ryan. These awards are sponsored by Allied Irish Banks. The winner of the Award of Excellence for the Bachelor of Arts Honours in English Media and Cultural Studies is Patrick Naramore. The winner of the Award, in humanity, the award of Humanities for the Bachelor of Honours in English Media and Cultural Studies is Ashling Byrne. Next, we come to the Olivia Burke Award. The Olivia Burke Award commemorates Olivia's achievement as a student in IEDT, whose time was cut tragically short by the um, accident and her untimely death in Berkeley, California in the summer of 2015. Although time has passed since we lost Olivia, her memory remains with us and her absence is grossly felt, is felt greatly by everyone who knew and loved her. This generous and thoughtful award, a donation by Olivia's family, is given in her memory. The award celebrates the entrepreneurship mindset, um, drive and resilience, which Olivia displayed in abundance. I am pleased to announce the recipient of the 2020 Olivia Burke Award, Dean Monks, Bachelor of Business in Applied Entrepreneurship. Dean has demonstrated and continues to demonstrate those achievements that the Olivia Burke Award stood for, resilience, etc. And one final prize is the IADT Faculty of Enterprise and Humanities Mary Ryan Memorial Award of Excellence. And the winner is Amina Dastan. Congratulations, Amina. And well done to everyone, our prize recipients, and well done to our graduates, our, their families and friends. And I hope you enjoy your day. And always remember that we're here in IADT. Anytime you need us, we're your family. We're here for references, we're here for support, and also for hopefully the provision of jobs or the identification of job opportunities. It's a challenging world, but COVID won't always be with us. So congratulations and enjoy your day. And I hand you back to Andrew. Thank you very much, Josephine. Well done to each and every one of our graduates, from us and from these special friends of IADT.
Hi, my name is Lenny Abrahamson and I want to wish the 2020 graduating class from IADT very, very good luck. Uh, congratulations on all your hard work and making it to the end of this course and wishing you all the very best for the future. A big massive congratulations to the class of 2020. I know the last few months uh, have been tough, but it's a huge congratulations to you, your family, on your graduation today. Congratulations on your graduation today, as unusual as it may seem. I wish you the very best for the future and I do hope you stay in touch with IADT. And finally, to conclude the ceremony, please welcome the President of IADT, Mr David Smith. Thank you, Andrew, and congratulations to all our graduates and our award winners. Good morning, members of the governing body, graduates, staff, and distinguished guests. Thank you for joining us remotely for this auspicious yet unconventional day. From wherever you may be joining us, you are all very welcome to the National Film School here at IADT for the conferring ceremony of the Faculty of Enterprise and Humanities. On March the 12th last, the Institute under public health guidance closed its doors to you. At no time did any of us imagine that your studies would have concluded with us under such circumstances. In the time since, and due to the prevailing crisis, we as a community have missed many opportunities to celebrate and recognize your achievements, but not today. Today, it is with immense pride and pleasure that we salute your achievements, your talents, and your determination. On behalf of our entire IADT community, Please accept my wholehearted congratulations and good wishes to you as you join the Roll of Honour as graduates and alumni of this distinguished institution. We have convened this ceremony today to honour you for your considerable achievements. You are joining us today to be congratulated, as you should be, on the hard work, the self-discipline and the sheer good fortune that has brought you to this pivotal stage in your lives. For each one of you, the path to success has been varied and challenging. Some of you have overcome difficulties and private hardship. Yet all of you, the class of 2020, have overcome unimaginable challenges, changes and disruptions to your lives and your studies, as everything we valued in our practices here at IADT was questioned and tested over the past number of months. In June, as this crisis took a more significant toll on our country, I wrote to each of you as the academic year came to its close. I wrote to, I wrote to thank you all for the confidence you displayed towards the Institute during this time of crisis. I spoke of how the Institute responded to this disruption and uncertainty with only one consideration, supporting you, our students, to the successful completion of your studies safely and with a consistent level of ambition for the high standards we endeavour to uphold. Today we celebrate and acknowledge the high standards you have achieved. I applaud your determination and resilience and thank you again for persisting with your studies during this challenging period. You have shown strength, talent, and a resolute will to succeed. Today is also a proud day for those closest to you. Your parents, your spouses, or your partners, your families, they have all supported and enabled you to realize your ambition. I acknowledge the sacrifices they have made for you, and I congratulate them too today. The disruptions and professional challenges you faced were equally shared and experienced by your lecturers. They adapted swiftly to support you and ensure that you could conclude your studies successfully. Their response to the academic challenges is consistent with the dedication they have shown to you over many years. They have inspired you with their passion for knowledge, their critical insights and their creative skills, which they have now passed to you. I acknowledge the assistance and commitment of all the staff, academic and professional here at IADT, who have helped you and supported you on this journey. Thank you all. Graduates, in ordinary circumstances, I would speak of the great future that is ahead of you and speculate on the plans and ambitions you have. However, as we have learned this year, there is significant risk in imagining too far ahead. In April, I proudly commenced my tenure as president of IADT, and almost every day since I've had to deal with matters concerning this pandemic. Like many of you, I feel that this crisis greatly curtailed my plans and ambitions. I was frustrated that the clear and obvious path I had mapped out was no longer an option. The changes I had planned for, the collaborations, the new experiences, the successes I had hoped for, and the inevitable failures too, are all different now and not as I had pictured. The pandemic slowed us down. The pace of our lives, the pace of our work, and how we work together has changed, and in many ways for the better. In his essay, Create Dangerously, the French philosopher Albert Camus remarked, dreams change from individual to individual 
but the reality of the world is common to us all. Without question, and like you, the future I imagined before is not the future I imagine now. But even in crisis, our common reality remains the same. As such, I am no less confident about your future as a graduate of IADT. Why? Because we strive to educate and produce talented, skilled and creative individuals, capable of challenging the status quo, confident dealing with complexity, and comfortable when faced with ambiguity and the disruptions that exist in society today. Whether our graduates are artists, entrepreneurs, designers, technologists, storytellers, psychologists, or filmmakers, they are driven by a restless curiosity to imagine new things, new futures, and new experiences. The value of this difference in thinking and practice is hugely untapped resource and will be invaluable as our economy recovers. I know in time each of you will imagine many new things, inspire others, make things better, and contribute to a more equitable, equitable and just society. Many of you already are. As the class of 2020, you have shown immense determination not to be overcome or overwhelmed by the most improbable and unexpected challenges. Take confidence from this fact. Nothing should faze you. Before I conclude, and to paraphrase the poet E.E. E. Cummings, be nobody but yourself in a world which is doing its best night and day to make you like everybody else. It takes courage to grow up and become who you really are. I wish you every success now and in your futures. Be different, be yourself, be courageous, and become everything that I know you can be. Congratulations to you all. Dear all, this concludes the meeting for the purpose of the conferring awards on the students in the Dunleary Institute of Art, Design and Technology. My sincere and best wishes to you all. Congratulations again. Thank you, President. The formal part of the meeting is now over. Thank you for your participation in today's ceremony. Remember, you all continue to be part of IADT's extended family. We look forward to welcoming you on campus in better times and look forward to following your careers in the future. Thank you. <laughs>